At Cornhusker Auto Center, bragging is not our style, but that doesn't mean our customers can't. Great people, easy transaction, went out of their way to help. Thank you. Amazing place to buy a vehicle. Great staff all around. I would recommend Cornhusker Auto to anyone. Time out! Welcome to another episode of Time Out with Nick, your weekly recap of prep football in Northeast Nebraska. We'll start off this week's episode with the Thursday Night Lights. Harding to Newcastle visiting 7th ranked Lutheran High Northeast over at Memorial Field in Norfolk where trick plays led to an early score for the visiting Wildcats and with the freshman quarterback Harding to Newcastle kept pace. It was 20 to 20 early in the second quarter. Lutheran Hyde though with a big surge ended up with a big 68-34 victory. Here's coach Darren Suckstorf after the win. Play action game was getting us a little bit. Uh, they did a good job with their offensive line of, of giving us tough reads. So we just had to put the pressure on the quarterback a little bit. Coach White dialed up some edge blitzes that put some pressure on the quarterback to make the decisions a little bit faster, which helps our uh, DVs in the backfield. I'm amazed we got this far into talking about this game without mentioning the fullback. Yes, the fullback. Garrett Bolter, 11 carries, 257 yards, touchdown runs of 56, 35, 21, 50, and 43 yards. All of that after he ran for a grand total of 59 yards total in the previous week. That's a good day at the office. Here's Garrett Bolter after the win. Yeah, it, this was important for us. It's uh, good that we, uh, I think it's good that we didn't just blow him out so we go into the later season with a chip on our shoulder type thing and we know to prepare better than what we did this week. Sticking with eight man games from this past weekend, Number five ranked O'Neill St. Mary's visiting number nine ranked Creighton in a matchup of two teams that were 5-0 in class D2 District 4 coming into the week. And it got kind of dicey for O'Neill St. Mary's senior running back Grant Wickelbauer with a knee injury middle of the first quarter. St. Mary's though prevails with a 28-18 victory. Here's coach Tony Allen. Because of injuries and things that we've had the last couple years, a lot of these seniors and juniors had to play a lot earlier than maybe they would have normally. Um, they played different positions because of injuries. When when Grant went down in the first quarter, you know some teams would have would, would have you know uh, packed up the tent and went home. Well, the thing is, these kids have been been here before. They've done this, and they they didn't bat an eyelash. They turned you know they they took that adversity and they played harder. Junior quarterback Aiden Hedstrom with the big day at the office, 26 carries, 200 yards, touchdown runs of 59, 1, and 43 yards. Hedstrom also 5 of 9 passing for 46 yards, including another touchdown. I really kind of put the game on ice there in the fourth quarter. Here's the junior quarterback after the win. Amazing. We uh, hope to continue. We're, we're going to enjoy this one, but we're going to continue on to the next week. We're going to try to keep keep winning. And one that really turned into a monster game Friday night at Memorial Field in Norfolk. Third ranked Wayne trailed 10 to 0 early against Norfolk Catholic, but the Blue Devils took control at the 21 to 10 halftime lead. You're thinking, okay, here's when Wayne really, you know, takes control at their running game. It was the other way around this time. Norfolk Catholic with a 20-play, 80-yard touchdown drive capped by the second of two Jackson Clawson touchdown runs. Norfolk Catholic then forces two fumbles. Caden Cunningham to Preston Burbach with 5 minutes, 20 seconds left to take the lead. And then another touchdown from Cunningham, this time to Brennan Kelly on a fade route with 15 seconds left. Norfolk Catholic with the 31-21 come-from-behind victory. Here's Coach Jeff Beller. Talked to our kids at halftime about staying the course and hanging in there, and you know we thought we could we thought we could play with this team, but we know we needed to get a stop, and they were awfully good. So I, I'm really proud of our kids. I think we hung in there, and battled, got a couple breaks. They put the ball on the ground a couple times, and we were able to take advantage of that. And we had did some of those things in the first half, and they took advantage of them. So overall, I think we played a complete football game. Kaden Cunningham also at the big night throwing for two touchdown passes really. You know, change the momentum of the game. Here's the senior quarterback after the game. We're known for a Catholic. We don't want to back down anybody. You know, we walk in that locker room and we're all just, you know, we're on each other's butt saying, you know, we can't let, we can't back down. And then go out in that second half and we just knew we had to turn it up and make no more mistakes. Start off what to watch this week with Norfolk High School. The Panthers lost 21 to 7 Thursday night at Lincoln Southwest. They will host second ranked Omaha West Side on Friday night. Norfolk Catholic will hit the road. They'll travel to Bancroft Rosalie Lions Decatur. That game will be in Bancroft on Friday. 
Lutheran High Northeast hits the road as well. They will be playing at Plainview. A few area games to keep an eye on. West Point Beamer sitting there 4-2 and two on the season. They travel to play undefeated Pierce on Friday night. Hardington Cedar Catholic travels to Oakland Craig. Both of them are undefeated on the season. And also St. Mary's, they travel to face Bloomfield. Both of those teams are still undefeated in district play. One thing to remember also, three ranked teams fell last week. Tuesday's paper looked to see the changes in, to the ratings. Predictions for top games involving area teams will be in Wednesday's paper. And like I've said all year, this is content in print digital subscription only. Once again, I'm Nick Benish, and thanks for taking your time out with us.